What's up guys, it's Vicky, this is Reality Show. So on this particular episode, very short episode of something that's disturbed me, uh, I saw a video from T.B. Joshua's ministry about this new water and stickers that he released for 2021. All of a sudden, within moments of touching the screen displaying the new anointing sticker, something wonderful happens. That's wonderful to them that she lost her consciousness Show me anybody who is touched by the Holy Spirit and loses consciousness. Uh, I'll wait. <laughs> and so we're going to watch the video here. Just a little bit disturbing. Just completely off. <laughs> Unacceptable from a theological perspective. But if you are just, you know, just like whatever sounds like it's Christian, continue. But it's a reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos that are done today on some other doctrinal issues down in the pinned comments. So do check them out. Today's videos strictly on doctrine. <laughs> okay. And so let's get to see what exactly is going on at TB Joshua land over there. Okay. And so, and remember, don't be part of the 52% people that are watching the videos, not subscribed. We came from 59, but we are now at 50. Awesome stuff. <laughs> God can use any medium to express himself. Um, is it? Hebrews chapter number 1 verse 1. Already, we are five seconds into the video. Hebrews 1 verse 1. Um, it says, God who in past times you know, made communication to mankind in diverse manners, but now speaks to us through his son. He doesn't need multiple other ways of talking to us because he's already established one which is reliable to interpretation okay now you might interpret whatever happens somewhere else differently but when it comes to jesus you can't get it twisted and so uh, just to note that there an emmanuel tv partner in zimbabwe had sent an email to a colleague with just a picture of the new anointing sticker he had freely received CCTV in her workplace captured the footage as she prayed with. So bear in mind, this is happening at work. The new anointing sticker alongside another colleague. Watch what happens moments later. So is it about God liberating people? Is it about God uh, freeing people? No, it's about what happened to her when she encountered this thing. Uh, when Jesus was around the apostles, nothing happened to them. They didn't get twisted up and start foaming out of their mouth. They didn't suddenly start behaving strangely. No, they didn't have that. But here, it's important what, okay. This is the moment that precious, a Zimbabwean at work, prays with the anointing sticker through the screen. By faith, she touches the anointing sticker and then invites her friends to do the same. Not mine, but God's own in Jesus' name. All of a sudden, within moments of touching the screen displaying the new anointing sticker, something wonderful happens. That's wonderful to them, that she lost her consciousness. Show me anybody who is touched by the Holy Spirit and loses consciousness. Um, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll honestly wait. Uh, when the Holy Spirit comes, He comes to strengthen us to take on the challenges of life. He comes to strengthen us and correct us in our ways, way wide ways. Okay? And so, uh, that, that co worker, that one that was standing next to her right now, do you think now she wants anything to do with church? No. She doesn't. I'm not about to get knocked out like that. A sticker caused this. Not Jesus. You know, when you receive Jesus, ah, <laughs> there was no greater thing that happened to you or anything. You know, you just received him, you went and you sat down. But all of a sudden, a sticker made of a tree, bamboo tree maybe. <laughs> Continue, TV Joshua. As Precious has an unforgettable encounter. The anointing that breaks every yoke. I'm sorry. He, uh, John is very clear that the anointing that is in you, the anointing that is in you, so you already have an anointing. This anointing is not causing you to fall out in the taxi, none of that. It only happens when you touch a sticker. Doesn't that tell you something is wrong with that sticker? Something is wrong with the sticker. 
No, we are coming to, to wrong conclusions here. People are coming to the conclusion that there's something awesome about the anointing oil or whatever stickers they are being given. They don't come to the conclusion that, wait a minute, is this even biblical? Or they don't come to the conclusion of, maybe this is questionable, which is what they should be doing. Why is it when you receive Jesus and you, the Holy Spirit indwells you, the Holy Spirit himself, <laughs> but when a sticker, can't you see who bewitched you? <laughs> As Paul said, verse up here. After this powerful experience, she shares her wonderful testimony. Emmanuel, my name is Precious Mta. Even the very quote of saying that those words, Emmanuel, it tells me that she is absent-minded to what the scripture says. The word Emmanuel is actually meant meant to be God with us. Now you have God with you all the time, but when a stick, I'll keep asking this question, so, but when a sticker came, <laughs> was too much, Abby? I want you to notice, I, we don't even need to listen to the rest of it, you can go listen to it at TV Joshua's page. But I want you to just note how they are driving away Jesus from focusing on anything that has to do with carnal flesh. So a sticker, can change your life but Jesus who came into you changed you from the inside out the Holy Spirit now indwells you to correct you and who was a free gift from God that one nothing but this picture <laughs> Tim Joshua has found a way to go back to Rome that's what they did with Roman Catholicism and all that kind of stuff <coughs> But it's because a reality show. You can say what you want. You can interpret what you want out of it. But what I see is people being driven away from God to something else. That's the picture you're seeing here. Is that when I got, when I, when I received Jesus in my life, nothing, everything was cool. I could go home. I was in total in my senses. But all of a sudden a sticker comes into your life. And you don't question why that sticker, which is just mere paper, when that sticker comes into your life, something now you have to now be falling at work. At work, you know, demons are just enjoying how people are willing to ignore knowledge. The scripture is very clear. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. They are being driven to idolatry and they don't even think of it. You have to think about it. You have to first think about it. This is idolatry. The Holy Spirit, you know, God is everywhere. Right? God is omnipresent, right? And even in his omnipresence, he doesn't make you just fall over anyway. But no, a stick. <laughs> I'll leave that one to you. You can come to whatever conclusion. But for me, I see people being driven away from God to something else. So Ricky, don't say we didn't want you when you...